All right, so here we are. We're going to do another unboxing from Samole of Art Clone Trooper Helmet. We have Commander Fox Phase 2 Revenge of the Sith. Again, all you people who hate on the Coruscant Guard, give them a break. It's not their fault they had inhibitor chips placed in their brains. They couldn't help it. I don't know about you all, but I think Palpatine is the perfect villain because I hate him, can't stand him. Well, this one's packed different, too. Ooh. Got a nice sheet of foam. With some stuffies. I tell you what, this is a two for one because if you need to stuff your couch, you order from these guys, they give you couch cushion stuffing. I like it. I don't gotta buy that no more. Take this right inside and stuff my couch with it. This is all that was was stuffing with a nice foam flat area so hopefully we don't have no breaks these are the only two that i've seen that have been stuffed differently or packed differently you can still see from the last helmet we got all kinds of things i don't like they're messy i have to get the vacuum cleaner back here all right I haven't even got the plastic all the way off and I can tell that. We're just going to rip this one. Why not? It seemed to work out really well. Give him a once over, look him over. Oh, yeah. Damn. Something, too, from some of the reviews that I've seen from a long time ago. When you take a look at this note, this uh, this piece right here, underneath the, uh, well, whatever that is. Um, they say that it's a rough 3D printed part. Uh, this is not the case with these. The, this is nice and smooth and... There's nothing rough about it. The uh, the mic ports here, or, or whatever those are, for I'm not 100% sure the workings of these helmets or how they're supposed to function. But whatever these are, they're kind of uh, they look good. They're they're not like uh, yeah, they don't feel rough. They look good. Nice detail on this guy. scratching and whatnot looks really good beautiful helmet let's get this accessory thing opened up here smokestack
that definitely appears to be 3D printed too. Um, but it's fairly smooth. There's no, uh, it's already been smoothed out and done up for you. It's nice. And we have our camera. Now this is the thing that I was talking about earlier. This screw here inside this camera. I don't know if you can see it from where we've got our camera sitting. But this one appears to be a little bit shorter than the one that was on Cody. So it threads all the way in. So this one won't be an issue. But the one that I had for Cody was a little bit too long. So I had to cut it down. Um, so with that, that's something to keep mindful. But this one, that's not going to be the case. This will go in there nice and easy. And like I said before, this is a Phillips. So you could use a screwdriver, but just be careful when you if you tighten these down. Because you don't want to crack anything or break anything. show you exactly how I put this on since I didn't demonstrate with Cody but I take my finger poke through the uh, the bolt I really don't know if you can see that or not then I take this in and it slides in a ways and then it starts to thread and then I thread it by hand I'm even gonna try to thread this one by hand and just leave it that way I'm not gonna attempt to put a screwdriver to it just for the mere fact that I don't want to break anything And I'll even back it off a little bit. And I'm not comfortable with turning it anymore. And as you can see, the camera's kind of down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the inside. And I am going to grab that screwdriver that I brought out. It's just a little tiny guy, if you can see. And I'm going to go to the inside. Here, if I can find it. Alright. And I am going to turn the screw. I'm not going to hang on to this, and I'm just going to let it all turn freely. Hopefully this makes sense to you, to where I can tighten this this way. And get it to where it looks like it's in the right position. And fairly snug. And voila. It's on there right there put my face there. Ah, can you see it better yeah the camera's facing in the right direction no danger to crack anything i mean i don't know if these you probably could tighten these down pretty decent and they might not crack but it's not something i'm willing to risk if i've been waiting for these helmets for a month i'd be damned if i'd want to break them put this I call it a smokestack. I really don't know what it's called. <laughs> Thread that in there. Hand tight. That little guy's not easy to grip for sure. But, all right. It's, it wobbles a bit, but you could tighten it down more. Tighten it down. And there's the stack on. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So there's a stack and then the camera. And let's put this guy on. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah, yes. Two thumbs up, 10 out of 10. What the hell did I do with my camera thing? Ah, stuck it back down there. Have a good one.